The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Lavalley Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Vermonto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh. Welcome back to the YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zur, high fourth quarter, just about set to begin. The Mill River Minutemen lead the Hartford Hurricanes 47-37. Our next YCN Wednesday night high school game of the week will feature the Lady Lakers of Sunapee in a Division IV semifinal matchup at Plymouth State University. The University. This game of the week will have a special premiere at 8 p.m. on Tuesday night. Check our YCNnow.com website for additional airings. Didn't get the first inbounds out, so they'll try it again. No time ran off the clock. Hartford now with a nice, a good finish there to that quarter. Billingworth with a three-point play, and then they get one to go just at the end, and now there's Billingworth going up strong. He'll go through the free throw line. It looks like maybe that's what their strategy is going to be. Get the ball inside, Illingworth, good free throw shooter, uh, and, and try and take advantage of some of that height that you mentioned earlier. Yeah, absolutely. That's what they need to do, and you know, the Minutemen up until this point have done a nice job of keeping them out of the paint. When they have got the ball in the paint, they've thrown in the double team. And besides that last third quarter, Illing, Illingworth only had four first half points. Let's see if they can really get him going here in the fourth. Can't take advantage of the free throw. As he misses the front end. Trying to cut it to single digits here, and his second one is up, bounces around, it's good. 47-38. You've got to imagine this River team can't stay this hot from three as they have so far in the first three quarters. They really opened it up there in that third quarter. Yeah, there was a time, I believe, when they hit three straight. And this one there. This one there, but goes to Morgan is the rebound, and then double dribble, though. So a turnover on the baseline by Chad Young, the junior forward. go with the Hurricanes, a chance to cut into it once again. Down nine, Kristen Potter over to Perkins and then Farnsworth. Yeah, per Perkins didn't know if he was gonna get the pick and roll from Illingworth. So they'll have to reset on the left side and this time they get it into Illingworth, but just a little too strong. And then a turnover, it'll go the other way. Good idea by the Hurricanes, trying to get it down low. Gonna have a little success down there, but pass just a little too strong. Can't afford too many turnovers if they want to come back in this game. And it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Illingworth is gonna get the ball. He's gonna touch the ball in every possession if they want to come back. Kick back out, and it's over and back. Turnover goes back to the Hurricanes. 6.43 to play here in the game. 47-38, Minutemen on top. Hey local sports fans, YCN Sports Talk hosted by our very own Jeremy Stout is on every Wednesday. And my YCN Sports Wrap is on Fridays for weekly highlights of high school sports in our region. Hurricanes looking to get some offense going. They do get it to Illingworth, but he's too far out to do anything. He'll Immediately cut to the center. Potter out on the wing. They do get it into Illingworth this time, and he gets it to go, and the foul. So Illingworth going up to get the pass. I thought for a minute they might have called him for the offensive yeah. foul. Yeah, the way the ref kind of extended his arm, it didn't seem like it, and there was some contact. Ref calling in Illingworth in, in Illingsworth Worth's favor. Let's see if he can cut this deficit to just six. Free throw is up, bounces around, and he gets the friendly home for a roll. 47-41, six-point game. Timeout on the floor. 6-16 to play. We'll take a break. You're watching the YCN game of the week. Welcome back, YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zerhide, 6.16 to play in the game. 
Hill River leading Hartford 47-41. Hartford really looking strong here so far in the early going of this fourth quarter, cutting the deficit to six. See if they can get another defensive stop. There's Morgan driving inside and he gets it. Morgan gets another basket and he's done that multiple times tonight. He does it really nicely. He protects the ball with his body and then he scoops it up. Nice layup to extend that lead back to eight. Right, the ball down low, yep. Yeah, they're looking for Illingworth, but first they'll get it Ooh. to Perkins. And Hunter Perkins, he fires from three. He gets it to go, and it's a five-point game. 5.30 to play. So concerned with double-teaming Illingworth and yep. making sure to de deny him the ball that Perkins, who in his own right has been a decent three-point shooter tonight. Yeah, when they dish it down low like they have been recently, it really opens up the wing. Nice job by Perkins nailing the shot. Whole new basketball game now. And only the sixth okay. team foul, so. Nice job for the Hurricanes playing some good defense all night, only six fouls. Next one obviously will be in the bonus, but only be the one in one. Driving baseline is Stork. He's bumped. And as we speak, the foul there goes on Connor Chandler. Stork shooting one and one for the Minutemen. Tune in to YCN's outside television in high definition on Comcast HD channel 713 or channel 21 for all the outdoor adventure. First one is up and good. Back to a six point lead, 50-44, 5.18 to play. Rodney Stork, his second is up, and good. Both teams now in the bonus. Next foul on Mill River will put the Canes, they will shoot two shots the rest of the way. One and one still for the minute. At this point, only down seven, no need to rush. Five minutes to play in the game, a lot of time. Don't need to force anything, but they will look to get to Illingworth. Here he has a little deep. Hand off to Farnsworth, nice little pick and roll, and a little sloppy on the pass. Turned back over. Yeah, that was a very tight window to make that pass. Ill-advised. Tried to thread the needle, couldn't get it done. And now if you're an Intamin, you gotta make sure you take some time off the clock. There's Morgan, the little 12-foot jumper. And that's good. Michael Morgan really been a force tonight for the Minutemen. Yeah, he really has. And that's just a simple little short jump shot. Not trying to be fancy. Just getting the easy two points. Nice job by Morgan. Make it look easy. The River extended their lead back to nine. Ooh. Farnsworth, three-pointer is off the mark. Illingworth almost gets the rebound. Oh, nice hands there. That one was Hunter Godet getting into the passing lane. Foul before the shot, one and one for the minute, and 4-0-1 to play in this game. Michael Morgan will shoot one and one. And his first one is up and good. Tristan Potter entering the game for Hunter Perkins. I'm sure Hunter Perkins will take a breather for a couple minutes and then he'll get back out there to finish this game because they need his ball handling and his outside shooting. Morgan's second is up and good. Back to an 11 point lead. Four minutes to play. 11 point lead for the Minutemen. Gavin Farnsworth drives, mm. kicks out to Gaudet. Gaudet shot a little strong, nice rebound there. 
by Hunter got at, and he couldn't get it out to Austin. And Austin tried saving it, hit the rafters. It'll be Minutemen basketball. It's a good idea about the Hurricanes finding the open man. Just happened to miss the shot. And a good effort here so in, in this half to cut that lead to five points, but then once again, this Mill River team just had too many ways to beat you from the free throw line. They can drive, they can shoot, and the lead's back up to a left. Yeah, you gotta give Hurricanes credit. They really made this ball game when it seemed like it was about to be out of reach. Drive baseline, kick back out. They'll swing it back around to Morgan, and the three-pointer is up and good. That might do it, a 14-point lead now, 3.15 to play. Gonna take a monster comeback here for the Hurricanes. And the Minutemen, their first loss. And Morgan has been huge in this quarter. And Illingworth going up for it, pump fakes. Morgan coming on strong and a little too strong. Illingworth will go to the line and shoot a pair. Coach Steve Landon having a word with the ref. Wanted to see if that might have little, been a little bit too aggressive. Free throw by Illingworth is up and good. And we have a timeout on the floor, 3.04 to go. No River up 58 to 45, we'll take a break. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week, Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zur, high final three minutes, four seconds here. Keith Illingworth at the line, and he's had a good night from the line. He hits another one. Cuts it to a 12-point game, 58-46. Substitutions coming in. Got Tristan Potter, Austin Gaudet for Hartford. And that's Tristan Potter coming up with a steal. Tried to get the shot off, but he traveled. Knew he was going to get the foul, so he tried going on the continuation to just throw it up there, but kind of tripped and just turned it over. Three Fast paint there, Rodney Stork. He doesn't get it to go, so Stork's not been able to get it from close range. He's been a good shooter, but not able to get that one to go. There's Illingworth with the offensive rebound. He'll call that one foul on the floor, but it won't matter. Illingworth will go to the line in the double bonus shooting two. And both teams now. Uh, Mill Rivers in the double bonus. A lot of fouls here in the second half compared to the first. Yeah, exactly. I don't think, did either team even get into the bonus in the first half? I'm not sure. No, I don't believe so. There's Illingworth getting his first one to go. And that's what we commented on at halftime, how the defensive effort from both teams was so sound and so fundamentally flawless. Mm -hmm. Not a, lot, not a lot of scoring, but good defense. Now it's come out and been a little bit sloppier, but as that'll happen, both teams tiring. That, that ha tends to happen. Billingworth hitting both free throws. He's been pretty solid from the line and fighting for it on the sideline is Tristan Potter and Rodney Stork. It'll be jump ball and the minute men will have possession. Stork for three. No good. Rebound goes to Gaudet. He gets it up to Potter, and Potter can't hit. But he'll go to the free throw line and shoot a pick. Well, the Hurricanes clearly wanted to get the ball in the paint, get it to their big Illingworth. And he has 15 second half points, so he has been a big force in the second half. Only four points in the first half. But uh, the rest of Hartford really hasn't done much. Gaudet scored three second half points. Perkins with three, Potter with one, Farnsworth with two. But for the most part, it's been all Illingworth in the second half for Hartford. 
Here's Tristan Potter hitting the first free throw. E.J. Nichols was whistled for the foul. He looked to be shaken up before the free throws. He's, he'll stay in, he's fine. Potter with a chance to cut it to an eight point game. His second one is up and good. Full court defense being applied and we'll find the open man, but DJ Nichols can't get it to go. Hurricanes looking to run. Saw dead and he'll get whistled for the offensive foul. Austin Gaudet can't believe that, but the Minutemen defender was planted. That's a situation where they really look to get it going and maybe catch Mill River off guard, but not the case. Nice job by the Mill River defense. If Hartford had scored, that would have been a six-point game. It's still two minutes, still a good amount of time. And there's a steal. Yeah, exactly. Still inside just about two minutes. Three-pointer by Austin Gaudet. That's off the mark. Illingworth came over the back, and they will call Illingworth for the foul. Landon doesn't like that call, and he's going to be careful not to get too animated. This game is still in reach. Brian Eaton in the double bonus, so they'll shoot two now. Brian Eaton's first one is up, bounces around, no good. So, can't get the friendly roll. No good. So, again, another chance for the Hurricanes as they come down. Tristan Potter kicks it back out to Gavin Farnsworth. Austin Gaudet surveying the court. Farnsworth on the elbow and a little too aggressive there defensively from Austin McMurray. And Gavin Farnsworth will go to the line and shoot a pair. And if you're the Miniman, both teams are in the double bonus right now. so. River, you really can't foul. You gotta force Hartford to shoot and try to knock down some shots. But you can't afford any fouls. Let's see if Farnsworth can cut into this deficit. Farnsworth, first one is up and good. 58 51, 138 to play. You gotta make your free throws, you gotta get points when the clock is stopped. up and good, the senior gets it to go. Cuts it to a six point game. 1.38 to play here, 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here, 58-52. And Andrew, I guess at this point, you play a little bit of defense if you're Harford and if you can get the steal, do you foul? I mean, there's no shot clock, but also, Bill River has kind of fallen off their shooting this last few minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, if, if, if Hartford knows of a Mill River player who is the best at shooting free throws, maybe that would be a good idea to foul him. But, uh, you know, the Minutemen are definitely going to try to take a lot of time off of this clock. And if you're Hartford, it's a tough choice. But uh, really, I mean, the Minutemen missed a few fast break layups. They missed both of those free throws. They really shot themselves in the foot. They've allowed the Hurricanes to climb back into this game. Hartford, it's a tough decision. Fouling might be a good idea, but at the same time, if you foul the wrong player, you might knock both of them down, put you in a deeper hole. Well, you gotta do something, because Mill River's gonna just triple the ball around. Either way, they'll pick up the full court man-to-man, -man, maybe try for a trap or something. Morgan over in the corner, by, guarded by Tristan Potter. He does get over the half court line. Can't foul. But, but he's immediately met by two defenders, and weren't able to steal the ball away. Ooh. This time, Illingworth gets the steal, but he gets called for the double dribble. And it didn't, 
I couldn't tell if he actually had possession yeah, of it. Right. That seemed like a pretty ticky-tack call yeah, yeah. when he was going. He tipped the ball away. I don't know, maybe we can check it out again as he tipped the ball away and then he does touch it with both right. hands, but it doesn't look like he had secured it. So yeah. I don't know how you call that. Yeah, that's how I felt too. It looked like he touched the ball, fumbled it, put both hands on it to gain possession. Right. And then tried to dribble it up. Didn't seem like a double dribble to me, but it's the ref's off. A minute 10 to play here. And no River really taking the air out of the ball here. A good defense by the Hurricanes. And finally Illingworth towels Michael Morgan. And there's gonna be two shots coming up here as we'll have two free throws the rest of the way. 101 to play. Morgan shooting a pair. So a good effort there. Try and trap the team. This Mill River team. Morgan able to dodge his way out of the trap and pick up the draw the foul. So he gets his first free throw, 59-52. Second one coming up here. And that's good as well. So 60 to 52, one minute to play in the game. The Hurricanes need a three at this point. And they'll get it over to Austin Gaudet. Back to Farnsworth. He'll drive into the paint. Pull up jumper, 14 footer. He gets it to go. Timeout on the floor. 60 to 54. We'll take a timeout. 47 and a half seconds to play. You're watching the YCN Game of the Week. Welcome back. YCN Game of the Week. Jeremy Stout, Andrew Zurai, 47.5 seconds to go here in the game. Mill River Minutemen cling to a six point lead as they inbound and probably be fouled, but tipped away, Ooh. stolen away by Tristan Potter. He goes into the lane, he gets it, it's good. Four point game now. It's landing on the sideline, calling for the timeout and a four point game and time out but we will keep it here 36.1 to go let's take another look at that one and Potter almost steals it the first time but as the ball is rolling towards half court he does pick it up and then stays in control and that's a lot to be said because when you have that ball and you know somebody's bearing down on you you're gonna stay in control and Potter did good for him four point game yeah, especially just like you said, the defender right behind it. But in this situation, you know, cutting the lead at four points. Nice job by Potter. Sticking with it. You know, failed once, tried again, was successful. And really, if that, uh, that call against Hartford, against Illingworth, that hadn't been made. This right. could have been a potentially, you know, who knows what would have happened after that. But this could be a two point game right now. And Hurricanes, you know, right now it's. Minutemen are gonna, gonna dribble the ball around, so do you foul or do you not? You probably have to foul. Who are you gonna foul? Probably try to foul one of the big men. Probably gonna be the lesser of the foul shooters. Well, the defense has played well before, and they'll waste no time on that one. They won't even, I don't think that was intentional. I think that was going to be called, yeah. it was called on Tristan Potter. Well, is that his fifth foul, did they say? I don't know if I heard that correctly, but. So Tristan Potter gets called, and, and it wasn't intentional. You know, right. sometimes you'll see teams foul before the inbounds, and uh, they did not elect to do that. That was just the ref thought a little too aggressive, and it will be his fifth foul. So coaches will get a few seconds to huddle at the bench, and in comes Hunter Perkins for Tristan Potter. For Tristan, Potter, Tristan Potter's night is complete, but before that free, before that foul, he had a great steal at half court and made the layup to cut it to a four point game, which still keeps this team in it. Michael Morgan at the line, shooting a pair. His first one rattles around and he gets it to go. So Morgan extends it to a five point game. If that foul had been against anybody but Morgan, it might 
you might be saying it's probably not the worst thing for Hartford. Right. You know, they need the ball back. Only 36 seconds left. And now they're going to be back in the six-point hole, it looks like. Morgan's second one is up and good. So a six-point lead now, 62-56. Farnsworth gets it inside to our uh, inbounds to Austin Gaudet. Trying to get a quick shot off. And got to shoot three. Gaudet fakes, and they get it back to Gaudet. Taking too much time, I think, off the clock. Inside to Hillingworth. And he goes up strong, and he'll go to the free throw line and shoot a pair. So good effort there by the Hurricanes to get it inside to Hillingworth. Nice up fake there, but he can't go up strong enough to get the basket, but he'll shoot a pair. Clock stopped. Hillingworth, first one is up and good. The senior captain. One of six seniors on the squad. Second one is up, back iron, and gets the roll. So Willingworth continues his mastery at the free throw line. He's been put in this situation a lot, and he's connected on almost all of them. I believe that was his 11th free throw made of the game. He's really been to the line a ton tonight. He's been very successful. And they got to start fouling because they had not come up with a steal, and now up ahead. Foul, yeah. And that one's laid in, number 23, DJ Nichols. Extends it back to six points, and the clock's going to expire. Gavin Farnsworth gets a three-pointer off, but it's no good. So the final score here, 64 to 58. The Mill River Minutemen hold on at the end and extend their winning streak in their season to 15 and oh. Hartford falls to eight and ten. An exciting game, a one-point game at halftime, 25-24 Mill River. And then they come alive in the second half, scoring 39 points. Hartford could only answer with 34 and ultimately losing this one by six. Good effort there by both teams in a Division II matchup that we could see in the playoffs down the road because Mill River will easily win the division number one seed. And the Hurricanes could land somewhere in that 8-9 matchup area where they could meet in a potential second round matchup or something. So final score here, 64 to 58. Andrew, I know you're totaling up the statistics and we'll get to the plays of the game, the player of the game. But an exciting matchup here in Division II Vermont basketball. Yeah, very exciting. This was a great one. And, you know, it was, you know, Mill River was definitely the favorite. Hadn't lost all year. Hartford with a 500 record. But the Hurricanes, you got to give them credit. They really stuck this one out. And uh, let's see, I believe it's time uh, to talk about some awards here. Uh, we'll talk about our HR Clough Kearsarge Heating turning up the Heat player of the game. And uh, we've got to give it to Michael Morgan. He scored 24 points in this one, the majority of his points coming in the fourth quarter. He hit a lot of key free throws in this game. So Michael Morgan is definitely my HR Club Kearsarge hitting, turning up the heat player of the game. And uh, for our Salt Hill Pub defensive play of the game, I think we got to give it to uh, Rodney Stork. I believe it was the third quarter. He had a nice steal and layup, quick two points, and he also threw in 19 points tonight. He hit five threes, so Rodney Stork is my pick for the Salt Hill Pub defensive play of the game with that fast break layup. So an exciting matchup. Hartford, they, as I said, they fall to 8 and 10. They should make the playoffs. They shouldn't have a problem. They should maybe even win a first round game, but they might run into this Mill River team down the road. Yeah, absolutely, and I'm sure the Hurricanes will have a, uh, will be ready for them next time they come to town. And Mill River, you know, they looked, they didn't look off tonight, but it's just both teams played very good defense. The Hurricanes played nice defense. They seem to know how to handle Mill River for the most part. So, you know, hopefully these two teams meet again and we get another thrilling basketball game. All right, the final score, one final time. Mill River wins it over Hartford, 64 to 58. Thanks to Greg and Alex. For Andrew Zerheide, I'm Jeremy Stout. Thanks for watching the YCN Game of the Week.
The Game of the Week is brought to you by HR Clough and Kearsarge Heating, the home energy specialist. Lavalley Building Supplies for home improvement and construction from concept to completion. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire. Romanto's Brick Oven Pizza in Claremont, always fresh.